Nairobi, Emerson Maglagwa, whose political obituary was being written a fortnight ago, was preparing to return to Zimbabwe on Tuesday night to take over as the country's president. Having served the briefest of exiles in South Africa, Magagwa will be sworn in as leader of an interim unity government as early as today, said Sanu PF, the ruling party. Tens of thousands of Zimbabweans flooded the streets of Harare in an extraordinary outpouring of elation at the expected ousting of President Robert Mugabe. Toy company Hasbro has issued an apology after discovering one of ITAS vendors had hidden a pro-Trump message on ITAS latest Transformers line. German Chancellor Angela Merkel said she would prefer fresh elections to ruling with a minority government after talks on forming a three-way coalition collapsed. The US president defended embattled Senate candidate Roy Moore, saying the Alabama Republican had denied allegations of sexual misconduct with minors. The chairman of the U.S. Federal Communications Commission unveiled plans to repeal a landmark 2015 order that barred Internet service providers from blocking or slowing down consumer access to web content. Ballas Mount Agug volcano has begun erupting less than a month after its alert status was downgraded following a decrease in seismic activity. Vision, Sunrise, Wishbone, one of two Turkey's President Donald Trump officially pardoned on Tuesday got a special tour of the briefing room before the big event. One of the most prominent American interviewers has been suspended from a number of US networks after eight women told the Washington Post he sexually harassed them. Tens of thousands of Zimbabweans flooded the streets of Harare in an extraordinary outpouring of elation at the expected ousting of President Robert Mugabe. Completing his revenge against the man who triggered the coup by sacking him, Magagwa is expected to receive the offices of state from ousted Robert Mugabe in person, an exquisitely executed moment of final humiliation. Never should the nation be held at ransom by one person again, whose desire is to die in office whatever the cost of the nation, Magagwa said, shortly before Mugabe's resignation was announced. But many in Zimbabwe fear they risk replacing one despot with another. We have removed a tyrant but not yet a tyranny. David Coltart, a prominent opposition MP, wrote on Twitter. For although Magwega may have become the repository of a weary nation's hopes, he has few democratic credentials to boast of. Get the latest news and updates emailed straight to your inbox. By submitting your email you are agreeing to Fairfax Media's terms and conditions and privacy policy. If anything, he was the archetype of the ancient regime indefatigable in his loyalty to Mugabe from the early 60s as they waged war to